Hello again. Today we're going to be knitting lace on your Superba double bed knitting machine. This here is the instruction book for the garter lace transfer carriage. If you don't have this manual, I highly recommend it. It's got all the instructions on how to understand what the knobs on the carriage do, how to use it, how to maintain it. So it's extremely helpful. I will link to a copy of this that you can look at online, this one actually. It's um, been put up by Patrick Madden, who maintains the superbanitting.com site, so he's actually added some helpful notes in there as well. It's great. And some of the other books actually only have stitch patterns, but this one has instructions as well. So here's all the garter stitch patterns. We're going to just flip through those for now until we get to the section on lace. And the second one on the left-hand page there, the purple diamonds, is what we're going to be focusing on today. I have a similar pattern, not exact to this, but close enough. You can see the book is referencing a stitch pattern for the light scanning and pressure pad models, but I have one that's close enough in superbinate. I am still going to be following the instructions for how to knit this, including the needle bed configuration here, the setup of the carriage and number of passes, and the setup for the garter lace transfer carriage and when to actually make that transfer. And you can see it just tells you exactly how to knit a pattern that looks like this. So that's actually very important. This is another reason why this manual is great to have. If you scroll through it a little bit, you can see other types of patterns have different instructions. So this orange one here has you making three passes of the carriage in a certain configuration and then one in a different configuration before you make your transfer. It's actually tucking three rows and then knitting. So uh, to begin with, make sure your bed spacing is on five or four as last time and make sure that you are set in this transfer or one quarter pitch position the whole time as well for anything you do with the transfer carriage. To begin, you're just going to cast on in stockinette. I've already done several rows. This is actually the same piece from the garter, garter stitch video, so I've just left it on there. Do a few plain rows in stockinette. And then because of how the lace is knitted on these machines, you need to transfer all the stitches to the front bed. Your work is actually going to be hanging on the front bed. So set your carriage with the two knobs to the upright position, just like you did for garter stitch and then bring forward the appropriate number of needles to move your work onto. And then bring out those two extra needles at the front and at the back. And then just run your transfer carriage over to bring all the work onto the front bed. It's actually really cool how these machines make the lace. The front is always just plain knitting. The back, it will be knitting certain stitches to create big loops which will create the holes in your work based on the the stitch pattern that you've selected which is why that has to be done on the back bed as it's the one that has the patterning and obviously the front bed has no ability to select needles so there you go just make sure you bring all your work onto the front bed now I'm sure anyone with one of these machines knows to set their cursor but I'm gonna just show me doing it here for fun <laughs> so go ahead and set your cursor stops 15 stitches from the outside of your work and once you've got that set up going to go ahead and move your cursor into zero position And then you're ready to set up Superbinit or your patterning device, depending on what you're using. So now go to your computer and open up Superbinit. To do this, you will need to be connected to the knitting machine. And the last pattern I had open is the one we're actually going to use. The first thing I always do is click set zero. My cursor, if you remember, was already at zero, so that's good. Click set zero and move your cursor to the right hand side. Then we want to select the pattern. And this is found in the 9000 folder and it's pattern number 412 in there. It came with Superbinet, so everyone who's got it will have this one in there. And there's lots of them. <laughs> so go ahead and select your pattern and then click download so we can set up how it's going to knit. Input your width. Mine is 80 stitches, so I'm going to type that there. Then I de deselect center. I don't like how it centers it. Double rows is important to select. 
because we're making two passes of the carriage each time. Then preview it. And you can see here, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so everything is two rows. That's great. If you're happy with how it looks, click OK to download the pattern. And OK again. And then when you're ready to go, click Knit. And that will open up the actual knitting window. And again, just double check. It's got, for row number one, carriage on the right-hand side. Everything's double rows. That looks great. So when you're ready to start knitting, click Knit. And you're ready to make your first pass with the carriage. So now when you set up your carriages for this, I did touch on this in the instructions, but what you want to do is that set the stitch size on the front bed to your regular stockinette stitch size, so in this case that's 6, and depress the knit key. And for the back bed, when knitting lace, your stitch size is always going to be 1, and you're going to click the circle button to deselect all the keys. And that's how you'll do all passes of the carriage in this case. So we'll knit across the first row, and you can see it knit only selected needles on the back bed, even though I have the zero key selected, or the circle, the slip, I guess. But it's knitting all stitches on the front bed, and that's what you want. So we've done two rows the same. Now we need to set up our transfer carriage as indicated in the instruction book, which in this case is lily button down and the second button up. So one down, one up. And when you run that across, it's going to transfer all those loops onto the front bed. And then when you make your next two passes of the carriage, it's going to knit through those loops and leave holes in the work. And that's how you're making lace. It's very cool. So this pattern's fairly simple. You just repeat the same thing each time. Two passes of the carriage and then transfer all the stitches back onto the front bed. Same thing, one down, one up. You're not changing it. And just run that across, transfer them all back to the front bed. Some patterns are a little more complicated, but this one is, is fairly easy. And you can actually apply this to almost any pattern that's found in Superbanit. Um, it, there's The sky is the limit, really. There's so many of them. Anything that would work for tuck stitch is going to work for lace, generally speaking. So I just repeated the process a couple more times here in order to get a nice piece of lace going. It is fast to build up, actually. It's, it's a lot faster than some of the lace patterns I used to do on my Singer 360 where you're doing hundreds of passes, it feels like, with the lace carriage sometimes before you actually knit a row or two. It, it does seem to go much faster on this machine, just based on how it does it. But So for those curious, this is what it actually looks like on your computer screen when you're knitting. You can see when I knit a row, it moves the carriage to the left and then back to the right. And then here I'm transferring a row, and obviously that does not affect the cursor, so you don't have to factor that into your pattern at all. And then when I'm ready to go, it will knit, you'll see me knit again to the left and back to the right. So that's interesting if you've never seen it. So once you've done that a number of times, you've gone through your pattern as much as you're comfortable with, uh, what I like to do is knit just a few plain rows. So I've actually turned off Superbanit here. It's not on at all. And I'm only knitting on the front bed. And then if I wanted to cast off, be careful about dropping your carriage. I would just transfer all those stitches back onto the back bed. That's how I'm more comfortable casting off. But if you can do it from the front bed, you're welcome to. Just setting things up so that I can transfer it back. And then if I wanted to, I guess I could continue knitting on in stockinette or with my pattern if I were actually making something. Just double check for any that didn't transfer. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop the bed after I've done that and give you a look at this. And you can see it's really quite lovely when it's all stretched out on the machine. Really, really pretty. 
off the machine. Not quite as pretty. It needs to be blocked, but you can see here that's the knit side. And I actually think I like the purl side better on this pattern, but really you could use either. You just have to make sure you set it up how you wanted it. And that's it. That's knitting lace on the Superba double bed knitting machine. I hope that's helped somebody out. Next time I'll go into some of the other patterns and we'll look at some of the fancy garter stitch patterns as well.